Hi, so in this video I will be discussing the concept of bounded rationality. So in the past few videos I have briefly gone over what we mean by rationality and this is where individuals are making choices to maximize their own utility and we've discussed what it means to maximize your utility and you're effectively just making decisions that are in your best interest and you are choosing things optimally to maximize your own happiness or your own utility. However, this assumption that individuals are doing this requires a number of assumptions that we do not see in reality. There are lots of unrealistic assumptions that are required for a consumer to be choosing the best thing all of the time. So that's what this point in red says that one of the key assumptions that we need for rationality is that consumers have perfect information. So this means they know everything. They, they know the costs and the benefits of every single decision, and they weigh up all of this information in order to decide, okay, which decision is going to be best for me. And obviously this will take a lot of time, and so we say that they need to have enough time to be able to do this and um, we know that in reality when we are making decisions we may we may depending on what the decision is do lots of research and decide is this the best thing to choose for example if we're going to a restaurant and we're choosing something on the menu we may consider our options and decide what would be the best thing for us to choose and what would offer us the most utility However, do we have enough time in reality to weigh up all of these options where we go through and read all the details in every single thing on the menu, make sure that we're making the best possible choice? Well, in reality, we maybe don't do that. What is potentially more of a key point in this regard is that in reality, we have imperfect information. So on a menu, in a restaurant we can see all of our options in front of us we have every single possible thing that we can order on that menu right in front of us and if we take enough time we can make an informed decision however for lots of decisions we have imperfect information let's consider that we are unemployed and we're looking for a job in an economy now we can go on a job seekers site or some sort of website that gives us lots of listings of jobs in our area but are we going to see every single job that is available no we're not and even if we checked lots and lots of different sites and spent weeks and months looking for every single available opening well we may not get anywhere near the total number of jobs available let alone having all the information about the pay for all of these jobs whether each job is going to have a nice office if they come with health care benefits and so on and so on there's so much information when we're making a decision that we just can't expect to know. And we value our time too much to spend all this time making a decision anyway. So what we have as a result is that individuals tend to suffer from bounded rationality, which is the topic of this video, which says that we can only be expected to make the best decision we can based on this limited information. So we try to have rationality and we try to make a, an optimizing decision that optimizes or maximizes our utility but this rationality is bounded by the information that we have available and the information that we are willing to spend the time analyzing so i do have a slight issue with this bounded rationality because it somewhat assumes that we aren't valuing our time in our utility function because obviously we get disutility from spending lots of time making the choice between things. I, I for one don't enjoy spending hours and hours choosing between say a pension plan or looking at different ways to invest financial assets. It takes a lot of time and it's not really enjoyable to do. So with rationality we sort of just think that the time spent analyzing all this information is not really going to negatively affect us or at least when we're doing very simple economic analysis we don't tend to take that into account so what we have is this bounded rationality or what we might call satisficing so I probably should have added this 
to the text satisficing so this is where we effectively just make a decision that is satisfactory to us instead of spending all the time to find the absolute best one so if we're in our restaurant but the menu is 50 pages long and we're on page one of the menu and we see okay there's a burger there that I'd quite like to eat and that would make me happy enough I go okay it's not worth reading the other 50 pages to see if there's something better because that's just going to waste my time reading through all these things when there's a burger that I see that they're offering that is good enough for me it may not be the welfare maximizing thing but it is satisficing for me so that's the idea of bounded rationality that we if we see something that is good enough we will tend to choose it because we don't want to spend lots and lots of time where we're never going to have full information we're always going to be limited on information and even if we had full information we'd be spending lots of time and time is something that is very valuable so that will just about wrap up this video please do drop a like if it was at all useful and a comment if you have any other questions check out the playlist for more introductory economics concepts and subscribe for lots more videos